So for the second exercise, we're learning about document layers. And um, you're going to need to open up your file provided for you in the student files called Chapter 7 Document Layers or 0707 Document Layers. And it's components of a hamburger, which we will then put together and learn about layers. So um, first, let's see. I want to show you what we've done so far is learned how to move things just by clicking and dragging them and then to get an object to the front you can go at um, object arrange bring to front and that is one way to get this hamburger together whoops I didn't like how that went whoops <laughs> Once, I'm gonna control command Z edit undo that because I Sometimes it's easy to grab the image and not the frame, and so I'm moving the image inside the frame out of the frame <laughs> instead of the, both of them together, if you know what I mean. But yeah, this is a little tedious. Like if I want the lettuce to move back, I'd have to go object, arrange, send, send backward one or two, and so that's a little bit tedious so there's a faster way to do it when using the layer pa layers panel so um, if you go object the or window layers or you can press F7 um, it brings up the layers panel and by default InDesign always gives you one layer layer one it's automatically called layer one and there's a visibility icon next to it so if you want to hide what's on that layer you can um, you can also lock the layers, so now I can't do anything to the hamburger. So if I have it just the way I want it, which I don't yet, I can lock it. Um, there's also this little drop-down triangle that shows me every object that is currently on the layer. So let me zoom in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, also I want to do um, my change my view display performance to high quality to get a better quality burger. Okay, nice. And so anyway, like I was saying in layer one, you, there's a list of all the items, top, bun, bacon. They've been labeled nicely here. Um, when you go to do that, you're going to have to label them because if you just create an object, it'll just have a default name. So you can go in and I think you can just, oh yeah, you can double click and then type whatever you want um, to name your your object and within the layer. You can also change the layer one name to hamburger or something. But yeah, when you're using this, you can select the top button or the, the object that you want just by clicking on the little color swatch to the side. So now my top button is selected, I can move it around. If I want to move my tomato up above the lettuce for example I can just click and drag it above the lettuce layer so now I can see it and then click on the side here and then use my arrows to move it over I click on the side to select it and I want to move my bacon too so I'm gonna click my bacon and then move, use the arrows to select it and bring it up so that's another way to using layers to select things more precisely rather than scrolling through and using shortcuts and the object arrange menu. So um, there's also another thing you can do with layers. You can put each of these items on different layers so that when you have one item in position, you know, and it's the way that you want it, you won't accidentally see if I I have it the way I accidentally moved this. I was just trying to move the top on a little bit over, but I accidentally moved the bacon. So what if I have the bacon exactly the way I wanted it before? Control Z, put it back. Um, and I can lock the bacon by pressing this little lock icon. So now I can go ahead and grab the bun and move it without accidentally getting the bacon. And each of the objects can be locked as well. And um, Oh yeah, if I'm looking for something, I can hide the different layers to find out where everything is. Okay, so the cheese is hiding under the lettuce, so I'm going to move the cheese up one and then put everything else back on. And it looks good to me. Um, I like where the bottom bun is. I like where the